Let's talk about the subject of worry today. And I'll be doing a number of videos regarding this specific subject because as you can see, there's a lot to unpack when it comes to this particular understanding of how to deal with and overcome worry. I do believe there is a place where you can become an individual who has overcome worry. And I'll, and I'll explain why I believe that to be the case. Um, but before we get into a lot of this stuff, I wanted to start off with a promise from John chapter 16, verse 33. And he says that in me, you may have peace. He said, in the world, you're going to have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So he reminds us that peace, what we're all looking, searching for, that inner place of rest, that no matter what I face, I can be at a place of rest and quiet confidence with God. It is only when we remain in Him. That's where you find peace. Peace doesn't come from just changing the circumstances. It doesn't just come because life is the way that you hope and want it to be. It comes from Him and Him alone. He is the Prince of Peace and He dwells on the inside of you. When it comes to this idea of worry, I want you to think of worry as a symptom. So we're not trying to stop worry. We're not trying to uh, do away with worry. It's a symptom of something else. And it's the result of holding on to care or cares that do not belong to you. Uh, you'll see in the scriptures it talks about care and it talks about casting your care. And so uh, many of us are holding on to cares that do not belong to us. They, they're not ours to hold on to, that we were not designed to carry the cares of this life. And I think it's important to realize is that a worry-free, if you become worry-free, it doesn't mean that you're free of care. Cares will come. Cares come as a result of the trials we face, the tribulations that we go through, the challenges of life, the, uh, the current of life. Cares are going to be available to all of us. The question at the end of the day is, are you going to carry them or are you going to cast them? Are you going to carry them or are you going to cast them? So what is a care? What is a care when it comes to scripture? It is an invisible, heavy weight that does not belong to us. It's an invisible, heavy weight that does not belong to us. We are not responsible to carry it. And so you may be going through a loss of a job, tight with finances, somebody in your family is sick. And so there is this opportunity to hold on to a care that is too heavy for you to hold on to. And oftentimes the reason why we do not cast our care and we carry our care is because we believe that uh, worry means I care more about this situation than the person who's not worrying. Or it's my normal response. Yes, it may be your normal, natural human response, but at the end of the day, it is destroying something inside of your life. Or you may actually just believe that it's an effective response, that worry is the best way that I handle. This is how I handle things. No, that was passed down from you from maybe generation to generation, and, and you've had a, a long list of individuals in your heritage who have just naturally learned this is how we deal with things, we worry, and so you've picked that up. But a care is an invisible heavy weight that does not belong to you. And what happens as a result of holding on to a care is it produces anxiety, fatigue, and fear. You start to constantly feel anxious because you're wondering how something's going to work out. It maybe dominates your mind, it dominates your day, it dominates your language and your conversations with others. It starts to fatigue you. You start to feel uh, tired, like, I, I just don't know if I can keep on believing God's promise. I, I'm struggling to have strong faith. And it ultimately can lead to fear. 
fear of the unknown, fear of what could be, fear of it, this may happen even though, you know, I, I hope that that's not what I want to happen. And so it leads to, to a number of these things. And it destroys, and I think this is important, I wanted to make sure this is clear, care, when held onto for too long, it destroys your faith, it destroys your confidence, and your ability to receive. It destroys your faith because even James says that it is very easy or people can be prone to becoming double-minded, which means that we are now uh, having two minds regarding the outcome of what God promised. So God said this, this is what I see. I'm struggling to see the outcome of what God said, and so we become double-minded. And James even says a double-minded man ought not to expect to receive. Uh, when you hold on to care too long, it destroys your faith. You become double-minded. You lose confidence in who God is to you and who you are to God. You forget that He's your Abba Father who will provide, who will come through, who is always faithful, who does not lie. Uh, he, if He promised it, He will bring it to pass. And then you struggle to receive from God because you're not in a place of faith and trust. You're in a place of doubt. And anytime we're in a place of doubting God's character or His promise because of what we see and what we're going through, we struggle to receive freely from God. Uh, so ultimately, care... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> care leads to worry. And this is the goal of the enemy. He wants worry to be uh, readily uh, prevalent inside of our life. Why? Because worry, the, the word worry actually means to strangle. It's a picture that comes from the word worry. And this is why Jesus said, don't worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow has its own troubles. And so he's constantly, don't worry about your life. Don't worry about what you'll eat, what you'll live, what you drink. Why? Because worry, the picture of it is it strangles, it grasps by the throat, and it kills and injures. So think of a wild animal that attacks another animal, a predator to a prey, and it will strangle, it will lacerate, it will, it will grasp by the throat to kill or injure that animal. That's the object or the result of worry. So you can see why it's so important for the enemy to get you to hold on to cares that do not belong to you for longer than you should because ultimately he can get you to a place where you are worried. And he knows that when worry gets inside of your system, just like a virus gets in your computer, it starts to attack the programs in that computer. And worry does the very same thing. It comes to choke. It comes to grasp and kill or injure. And so the enemy is attempting to use worry to choke God's word of promise. You see, as a believer, we read the scriptures, we go to church services, we hear God's promises. They're, they're planted within our hearts. And what happens is when we begin to worry, it starts to choke. Even Mark chapter 4 says it chokes the Word of God, making it ineffective in our life. And that's a possibility. Think about that, that the Word of God, the promise of God can be choked out of your system where it does not produce inside of your life. Ultimately, the enemy, he wants our attention. That's what he's after. If he can get our attention he, on our, our circumstance, he can get us to hold cares that, we, that do not belong to us, ultimately for too long, leading to worry, which ultimately ch chokes God's word, God's promise, <clears throat> and God's presence inside of our life. So let's go back to John 16, 33. In me, that's where you find peace rest. And so in the maybe next one or two videos, I want to help you understand what to do with what? Care. It's not what to do with worry. It's what do we do with the cares when they come? 
when we do lose our job, when we do find a place where finances are tight, when we do actually start to hold on to things that seem natural, we're going through them, but because he wants our attention, we become very circumstance-minded rather than shepherd-minded, and we start to hold on to these weights. They weigh us down, and ultimately Jesus says, hey, with your heavy burdens, bring them to me. Yes, you, the one that's carrying a weight that does not belong to you, bring it to me and I will give you something in exchange. So hopefully this helps you understand where worry comes from, why it is so uh, such a serious issue to not fall into a place of worry and what we can ultimately do with our cares. I hope this helps you. Share it with somebody else and thank you for subscribing to this channel. God bless.